We're on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, which for a long time has been one of Australia's favourite family holiday destinations. And today we're at the beautiful Cotton Tree Holiday Park. And did you know, Macca, that this happens to be the biggest caravan park in Queensland? I did hear that, and I also heard that this park is the oldest in Queensland, so there's bound to be some history here. That's right. Why don't you guys come in with us and we'll show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. It's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. What's up down under? Slap bang in the middle of one of the most popular holiday destinations in Australia, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, this park has got hospitality running out of its ears. I'll tell you what, guys, I like what you've done with the landscape in here. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? It's my backyard, you know? Look at it. Where else would you want to be? Well, you can't help but love it, you know? Look at this river on one side, the ocean here, the awesome park, and it's massive. How many sites have you got here, Nat? We've got just under 500 sites. Wow! So it's a lot of people when we're full, but it's great. How many cabins? Oh, nine cabins, and we've got a house that sleeps 11 for big family reunions and that sort of thing. And you get so many families coming up here year after year. Certainly do. As we know, we've got people coming back for the last 70 years, <laughs> plus we've got other families that have been coming for 50, you know, so it's pretty amazing. You must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right, because this morning when we were walking around, I saw you saying goodbye to a couple of families as they drove out, and it was like, see you later, Dennis, we'll see you next year. You know, it, it really did feel like a family atmosphere. Yeah, we try to create that here. They're yeah. like family. Yeah, and you get to know them, so it's great. What's some of the features about the park that you absolutely love? Oh, you can't beat this bit. This is the still water. Obviously, kids love it. Kayak, stand-up paddleboarding, fishing. And then you've got the surf out the front for the teenage boys, you know. They can go out there and catch a few waves. And we are just a traditional campground. We don't have a jumping pillow or anything like that, but we don't need it. The kids come and they spend summer on the beach. I even saw the kids yesterday in the camp kitchen playing cards and board games. And I mean, you know, you just don't do that at home. You get so caught up with life, but this is where you can just unwind and relax. For sure, for sure, and that's Traditional. what it's all about. Traditional camping. S spending time with your family. Wholesome. 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 What a good word. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we went for a stroll around the park. It really is a terrific park. Yeah, you're not wrong, Ken. You're huge, isn't mm. it? Hey, have a look what's going on over here. I see pikelets. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon the chances are of crashing the party and getting a cover? Let's go over. We'll give it a shot. G'day, everyone. How are you going, boys? This looks, looks pretty good. Come in and join us. Thank you very much. I might do that. Looks like, like a pew. Yeah. I'll sit nice and close to the squads. <laughs> Watch him. You get yourself a bit of a home away from home. How long have you been coming here? Well, um, 75 years since I was born, but um, I've been on this site since 1960. 1960, same place. Same place. Every year? We had a tent here to start with, then we upgraded to the caravan. Oh, a bit of luxury. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's and lovely here. Is this all the family? No, this is only half of them. Um, there's uh, eight children and their partners, uh, wives and husbands, uh, 25 grandchildren, nine great-grandchildren. So you've been busy, haven't you? you oh, we sure have. You didn't have yeah. a TV at home? No, 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 we didn't need TV. <laughs> What on earth must have you been thinking? <laughs> hey Veronica, I love your caravan. It looks like one of the original Viscounts, is it? It is, yes. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, let's mm. go. I felt really special. Veronica took me for a cuppa and showed me around her caravan from the 60s. Veronica, when did you first come to Cotton Tree? Look, I came here as a baby. I would have been nine months old probably when Mum and Dad brought us down here and then we came every year for the six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I got married, I came down here. We spent the first Christmas with my mum and dad down the front. This, the next time we spent in a sister's tent, actually. And then the following year, we came onto this site here. Right. And I've been here ever since. That was in 1960. Wow. Mm. And you introduced your husband to coming here for holidays I did. too? I did, because he didn't like he didn't like caravanning. He said he'd had enough camping out when he was in the forestry. He used to do a bit of forestry work. Yeah, and he said he didn't want to camp out, but he loved it. He loved coming here. Wow. Mm. See, it doesn't take much to, you know, get you hooked. Oh, no, definitely <laughs> not. And now all the children are coming here, or half the children, and yeah, I'm 
We yeah. just love it up here. Yeah, and for eight weeks you're here over yeah, Christmas, eight weeks. right yes. through to Australia Day. Yeah, yeah. And Veronica, it looks pretty much original, your caravan. Yeah, well, it is really. The only alterations we've done, we put in the Four Season hatch. Mm -hmm. We put new pan light on the wardrobe doors and on the cupboards and on the table. But apart from that, <laughs> Um, cutting out the drawer from under here to put a bigger fridge in. Mm -hmm. It's an original floor. Wow. So it's it's mainly all the same as when we first bought it. Wow, mm. it's terrific. And I love that you tow the van yourself. Yeah, I do. And I find it so easy, you know, you don't know it's on behind the car. So it's really good to tow. If only these walls could speak. Oh, they tell you a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just think, Veronica and her family have been coming to Cotton Tree for over 75 years. What's going on, mate? You're too short for this family. Come on, I just want to be part of something for Big boys here. Now, if you want to know anything more about any holiday parks in Queensland, just log on to caravanqueensland.com.au. Stay tuned for a walk down memory lane. The memories, isn't it? That's, it that's is. what they're it's doing. It's all there. about the memories, memories that we're making. It's up, down, under. Nissan, supporting what's up, down, under. To see their latest models, visit your local Nissan dealer today or go online and log on to nissan.com.au. So, Veronica, like these old shots here, I mean, I love them. That's you know, it's, it's the iconic Australian family having a great time on a holiday. When would that have been? Oh, geez, let's have a look at the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it hasn't got a date on it, but I think um, the second eldest son was about 14 by the looks, so that would have been 1962. Is this where the man who owned the canoes yelled out something to you across oh, the water? Oh, he sure did. He did, because I love diving, and I was diving there, and he must have thought the water was too shallow. He says, Veronica Fowler, get down off that diving board. <laughs> I said, no way, I'm not getting yeah, down Yeah, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> Some of the best recollections was Dad entertaining his mates and them all putting beer bottles on every tent pole on, his, uh, on the tent that we had and Mum getting very angry the next day. <laughs> So I met my husband here a um, very long time ago and I remember um, my father said to us uh, when he saw my husband's family coming in, they were a farming family and they came in with all their motorbikes on the back of the ute and my father said, you keep away from those boys on the motorbikes but at the same time my husband's uh, father was saying, you keep away from the policeman's kids on the corner. <laughs> so do you think your kids and your grandkids will, will sit back at, in your age and um, have the same sorts of memories of, of I'm sure tree? they will because we've already instilled it for them, you know, with us bringing the kids up ever since they've been born and, and now they're bringing their children and their children are bringing theirs, so yeah, the memories, they're just going to go on. The best memory would probably be uh, when all the people would come in, all the visitors, because mum and dad always had either a cup of tea or a beer on the table depending what time of day it was. My children now are grown up and I've got a couple of boys now, they've got campsites here and the grandchildren. The best part of that is they come in and wake you up at six o'clock in the morning when you're retired and you think you can have a sleep in, but yeah, it's lovely. It's a fantastic place to be. So your mm. mum and dad brought you for the first yeah. time, mm. then you came along. Yes, and I, I brought my children up, yeah, and then their children? They, they, they started bringing their children along. And now yeah. the great grandchildren. Now the great grandies are coming. Mm. Gosh. Mm. My best memory at Cotton Tree would be swimming over to the sandbank and playing cricket with all my cousins. <laughs> Being able to see all my mates every year and hang out with all my cousins and family that come up. My best memory is floating um, down the river on the lilos and the current takes you back to your current position and looking at all the hot guys when you go down. <laughs> and now I love this one here on the phone. I think you look like, is it Gina Lola Bridget? Oh, jeez. <laughs> look at her bathing there on the lilo, laying back. Was that just last week? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> so comfortable. It just a stream of young blokes on the beach, oh, wolf no, whistling no, and no, carrying no, on. Oh, no. down. <laughs> <laughs> you look fantastic. Lots of good memories about being here at Cotton Tree. When we were kids, Dad always made sure that we came down every year for all the holidays. One of the best things, I suppose, about it is just being together with all the family. And it's a nice little atmosphere by the beach. So, Veronica, What's some of your most special memories that you have? Oh, look, just being with family, Christmas time down here, when we, we decided we wouldn't go back to Brisbane for Christmas Day and we'd have it in the park across the road from where we are. Mm. And just all the families there together, we spend the whole day there. It's just beautiful. 
You wouldn't believe it, but Cotton Tree managers Trent and Natalie's son, Tyler, helped me finish off my visit. Road off road, pop top, gooseneck, fifth wheel RV, fold out, compact camper, trailer, custom bus. The road's got room for all of us when we're caravanning. It's a freedom thing. Caravanning and we're living the dream. Caravanning, it's a freedom thing. So this big box of testosterone behind me is the SELX 20 foot six, which is one of the most popular caravans in the Patriot range. So let's start right up the front here because we've got a DO35 hitch. Now this caravan is more than capable of following your vehicle anywhere you want to take it. Just behind that one, we've actually got an electric option there. So you can just stand back, flip the switch and uh, not worry about getting a sweat up that day. Inside here, we've got two nine kilo gas bottles and that's gonna keep you going out in the bush for a long time. Beside that, when you take delivery of your van, everything that you need to look after this, maintain it, keep it going, and peace of mind stuff comes with it. Torque wrenches, tools. So you gotta remember that this is going to be your home away from home. So everything that you have at home that you enjoy needs to be in your van. And Sunland have carried that off to the T. Inside here, you got your barbecue. You cannot entertain without a barbecue. Slides out, turns around, very nice. So you got two steps to help you get in and out of the van on an electric switch. How nice is that? We've got alloy wheels down there, fully sick bra. Above that, all your connections for your TV. Bring your telly out, hook it outside here, watch the footy, couple of speakers. Does it get any better than that? So this little trim here below the tail lights looks quite nice, but it does so much more than just looking good. It's actually a water catcher. So when it rains, there's a tap inside, you turn it open, which will allow the water to come off the roof, flush everything off there, any bird droppings, dust, etc., that you don't want to be ingesting. And then you turn the tap the other way and that starts collecting the water off the roof and putting it where you need it, and that's in your water tank. So if I've wet your whistle with this bit of information I've given you today on the Patriot and you want to find out more, just jump on sunlandcaravans.com.au and find out everything you need to know. After the break, we visit another stunning holiday park in Maroochydore, complete with valet parking. This episode is brought to you by Family Parks. To plan your next holiday in Australia or New Zealand, log on to familyparks.com.au. While we were at Cotton Tree, it gave us a chance to present a cheque from Family Parks to the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. And with me, CEO of Family Parks, Carl Heyman. Gee, it's great to see you again. Yeah, it is. It's great to see you again. It yeah. wasn't a fantastic it was a night. brilliant evening. You were sensational. Ah, oh, thank you. But tell <laughs> us about how we went about raising all of this money, because you'll love some of the yeah. weird things we did. That's right. Well, after a lovely meal, we had an auction. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody, all of our delegates donated some prizes, etc. And uh, some of the prizes were won and then put back in to uh, raise even more money. And we, uh, we raised more than we ever have done. And uh, it, I'm very, very proud to say that we've got a check with us and we'd like to present it to the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. And we have Denise and Tracy here from the foundation. And so thank you very much. This is all yours to do whatever you wish. Thank Tracy, you. Tracy, I know you were there on the night and it was such a, a terrific night. And I know this money will be a great help for you for your projects coming up. Yeah, look, I was fortunate enough to attend the, uh, the dinner. It was absolutely sensational. And we were very overwhelmed with the amount of money that was raised by the Family Parks managers, so we really do thank them for their support. Oh, it's a pleasure. And Denise, I know you've got a lot of projects coming up this year. Where is some of this money going to be channelled this year, perhaps? Our first term, we've got a big project coming up. We'll be sending out over 10,000 of our Keeping Kids Safe DVD to every school in Australia. And we also want to be updating our DVD with a couple of new menu items with some more safety messages for perhaps the Indigenous and special needs children. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Well, I know that it's been a great honour for me and I know Carl yep. from Family Parks, yep. it's just been terrific and uh, we'll look forward to doing more with the Daniel Morecambe Foundation in, in years to come. Thank you so much, it's Thank wonderful. You. 
And further down the beach is the Marucci Beach Family Park where we stayed. Well, just a very small hop, skip and a little jump from Cotton Tree is the beautiful Marucci Door Beach Holiday Park and another family park. And I'm here with Nicole. You must love managing this park. You can't get much better than living right on the beach at Marucci Door. It is pretty fantastic. We're very central to everything. We're a little unknown park little hidden gem of the Sunshine Coast, I suppose you could say. The shops are just behind you, the beautiful beach, one of the best in, in yep. the whole yep. Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast yep. region. It's, it's fabulous. It is, it is. And we're right in between two iconic surf clubs. You've got Marucci Surf Club 400 metres down the road, Alex Surf Club about 900 metres up the road. Everything's in, within walking distance. Do you find you get a lot of people coming back year after year? They do. We have quite a number of families that just come at Christmas time. They formed friendships several years ago and they just keep coming back year after year just to catch up with those friends at Christmas time because that's the only time they see them throughout the year. And it's great to see because they've all seen their kids grow up and the grandparents and it's lovely. What's some of the services you offer your guests here? Some of the services, well, firstly, we have three rules in our park. You smile, you have fun, and there's no frowns. Well, that's easy to do when you're in a place like this. It is pretty easy. <laughs> One of our biggest services that we offer is we park vans. And to help with that, we have a tractor mm -hmm. that helps you put your van on site. And my lovely husband does that. So we take that stress away from the beginning of your holiday because there's nothing worse than starting your holiday off on a bad start. Because that can truly be the most volatile part of the whole trip is when you yeah. pull in and you've got to park the van and everybody's watching and yeah, it oh, that's is. wonderful. It's very stressful. So we take that stress away from your holiday. So it starts off on a good start. How are you, Michael? Yeah, good. Thank you. you. Have a good stay, eh? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, buddy. He made it look so easy, but I thought I'd get a few tips off him, so I could have a go myself. Right, Maka, today we're going to get you on site. All I need you to do is follow my instructions. At the start, I'm going to stand in front of the car, and you're going to be looking at me, maintaining eye contact. When I put my arm out, I want you to turn the steering wheel to hand down on that side. If I put this hand out, I want you to turn the steering wheel hand down on that side. I'll call full lock, half lock, straight back. All I need to do is go really slow and follow my instructions. You're up for a fair challenge, mate, because I don't take instruction all that well. And you'd be the first person who ever voluntarily stood in front of the car while I was driving. <laughs> Let's have a job at it. <laughs> okay, gonna go back. Hand down. A little bit of hand down this way. A little bit more. A little bit more. Full lock down this side. Keep going. Steady there, come forward. Steady there. Going back nice and straight now, nice and slow. A little bit more. Steady there, beautiful. See you, Macca. It's that simple. You can teach old dogs new tricks, mate. How about that then? Oh, we'll keep trying. <laughs> Coming up, Macca's flipping pancakes for the kids. What's up down under? Are you a Travel Saver Card member? There's never been a better time with over 5,000 discounts in Australia and New Zealand. You can now save at over 100 holiday parks, but the savings just got better. With the What's Up Down Under Travel Saver Card, you can now get a 25% discount on a Family Parks two-year membership, allowing you to save at 120 parks in both Australia and New Zealand. That's over 200 holiday parks. See the What's Up Down Under website for further details. On travelauctions.com.au this week, you can bid for 10 nights high of a powered site at the Second Valley Caravan Park, Flurio Peninsula, South Australia. You can break the stay into two by five night stays, normally valued at $320. But what's your bid? Top 50 bidders win. For full details on this and other auctions, visit travelauctions.com.au. Get your diary out and write down the dates for the Queensland Caravan Camping and Touring Holiday Show from June the 2nd to the 9th you'll see all the latest caravans, tents, and holiday ideas at the Brisbane Showgrounds. Log on to caravanqld.com.au for full details or find us on Facebook. Next morning we were up early to give a hand with the free pancake breakfast. 
G'day, Jase. G'day, what Junior. You, what do you think of your new helper here? Oh, look, I'll tell you what, he's the apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> a long way to go, the apprentice. He's not doing too bad a job. Oh, no, he's yeah. doing good. He's doing All good, although he's making them big. All I've got to do, Tanya, is make circles. <laughs> OK, righty If we end up with a square one, we're going to have to work out what the hell we're going to do with it because the kids' plates are all turning up round. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jase, how often do you do this? Uh, every Sunday when we're busy. We mm -hmm. try and do it most Sundays through the year and just something to give back to the customer, to the guests, and make them, keep them happy, you know? Yeah, I see a jar over there. Is that a gold coin donation? Or? Yeah, we do a gold coin donation, and when we get a... a uh, fair sum of money together after a few weeks and we just ship it off to a, a local charity. All yeah, those, it's in the wrist, cool. it's the all in the wrist. Is you've got to actually let them bubble a little bit more and then you flip it when the bubbles appear on the top. It doesn't take long for you to try and take it. It's really it? the bubbles of nothing that really make it something. <laughs> <laughs> well I reckon these ones are bubbled enough. They are okay. bubbled, almost burnt. Are you ready kids? Yeah. Come on, knock a dolly, win a lolly, everyone's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> you get a job as a carny. <laughs> A little gold coin donation, good on you guys, it's terrific. And then we went for a bit of a walk around the beautiful little township of Maroochydore. There's a heap of top little bars and cafes. And what about the attractions like underwater world sea life? Me, I like the surfing. Athletic blokes hanging five. Now, if you want to know more about the Cotton Tree or Marucci Beach Family Parks or any family parks, log onto their website or check out caravanqueensland.com.au. Hey, I'll tell you what, Tanya. I thought we'd crammed a fair bit of stuff into the last couple of days, but when you have a look at those brochures, I don't think we've even scratched the surface around here. Yeah, you're spot on there. And hey, if you've enjoyed our show and like some more information, jump on our website at whatsupdownunder.com.au. Hey, and not only that, make sure you buckle yourself back into the very same seat at the very same time next week because we're going to come back and show you more of What's, What's Up Down, Down Under. Down Under.